Now, what if I told you the Mayan prophecies and were predictions for the end of the world was completely misunderstood? Obviously, the world did not come to an end in 2012, so something's off. The prophecies were made by the ancient Mayans in South America more than 2,000 years ago. The Mayans created their calendar six years before the birth of Jesus. They were not predicting doomsday. They were talking about the end of the current age. First, the Mayans understood the great year, or the procession of equinoxes, just like we do today. This is where each zodiacal age lasts approximately 2,100 years. The full extent of the great cycle takes an amazing 26,000 years to complete. The complete cycle is called the great year, and the Mayans knew of this cycle. The Mayans were looking for the end of the cycle and the beginning of the new age cycle. On December 21st, 2020, Jupiter and Saturn aligned in what is called a conjunction for the first time in 20 years. The last time was in May 2020. This was known as the Great Conjunction, and it was a time when the planet of structure and restriction, Saturn, meets the planet of growth, expansion, and miracles, Jupiter. This marks a societal shift we'll see leading into 2021. It's a new day, a new era. For the past 200 years, Jupiter and Saturn conjunctions have occurred in Earth signs. 2020 marks the beginning of the next 200 year cycle. This time, Jupiter and Saturn will conjoin in the air signs and start a cycle that lasts until 2199. Saturn entered Aquarius on December 17th, and Jupiter entered the Aquarius on December 19th. The two conjoined in Aquarius on December 21st. The last time Saturn and Jupiter conjoined in Aquarius was 1405, the end of the Mongolian Empire. It was the end of the Dark Ages in Europe, and when knowledge that had been funneled into the West from Asia and the Middle East had been taken out of common circulation. But it was also the start of the Renaissance period, a time of rebirth where art, medicine, and new ways of governance flourished. Cities began to become hubs of art, culture, and Europe began its age of expansion. And there was another great conjunction in Aquarius in 1345, which was around the time when the plague came to Europe, and England and France were locked in the Hundred Year War. We have seen similar storylines when this year's Great Conjunction happened at the time of COVID and the presidential election. Now when Jupiter and Saturn come together, there is a restructuring of legal institutions, judicial systems, and we see new leadership rising to power. We stand at the bridge between our history and what's possible for the future. Now back to the Mayans, somehow they were off a few years. There have been several hypotheses proposed to make up the differences, but for now, I don't see the need to bring that into this discussion. Because the Maya did not speak of the end of the world. Specifically, they said that everything transforms, that the only thing which remains is the spirit and its journey of evolution towards higher levels. The Mayans left us, the inhabitants of the planet, a message written in stone. A message that contains seven prophecies. Not just the end of the age, but predictions for a new beginning. The first Mayan prophecy announces the end of the present cycle and a 13-year warning before the change. It is said that every person is in the great room of mirrors and needs to find his own multidimensional nature within themselves. The second Mayan prophecy says that the answers to everything are inside man and our behavior determines our future. It affirms that humanity finds itself in a moment of fundamental transition towards a new way of perceiving the universe. It said that the universe and the solar system are receiving a beam of light, energy, and information from the center of the galaxy, and that this is causing an increase in the vibration of the planet and the brain waves and the cells of man, placing him in equilibrium with his new frequency, causing enormous changes in his behavior. 
The second Mayan prophecy shows two paths, one of understanding and tolerance, and one of fear and destruction. In both, man will learn the necessary lessons for the evolution of the conscience. The prophecy tells us that humanity is moving toward a new era of harmony, and that to get there, we must confront our greatest fears and accept that we are faced with difficult situations in order to learn from them. Maintaining peace in any situation that we may experience. No matter how difficult the challenge, we can maintain and increase our internal energy, producing a state of high vibration and a state of respect for all that exists. The difficult situations will remain in our lives as long as we need to learn something from them. third Mayan prophecy says that we must become aware of our influences on the planet so that we do not continue to make the same mistakes or causing its destruction as has happened over the course of history. This will be accentuated by the increased activity of the Sun caused by the energy received from the center of the galaxy creating great changes in weather and winds. The fourth Mayan prophecy tells us man must cease his destructive behavior in order to synchronize with the rhythms of nature and adjust to the changes that will take the whole universe to an era of harmony. The climate changes will produce a melting of the poles, allowing the planet to be cleansed and green again. Now the fifth Mayan prophecy says that all systems based on fear which affect our civilization will transform simultaneously with the planet and humanity to take a new step towards the reality of harmony. Systems will fail to confront humanity with itself, making us see the need to recognize society and continue in the path of evolution, allowing us to understand creation. Money will be ceased to use as a form of exchange, a single common spiritual path will emerge for all humanity that will end the established limits that we have set for the different ways of seeing God. The new galactic day is seen in all religions and cults in an era of peace and harmony for all humanity. Therefore, it is clear that whatever does not contribute to this result should disappear or change. The dawn of the galaxy should be based on profound respect for each other and for the recognition of all that exists. The new humanity will not need existing technology communication systems, for will we be connected mentally, and therefore violence should cease to exist. The era of change that the minds called the time of no time was also prophesied by other cults and religions. All agree that the world is at a point of change of huge proportion. Soon after that will occur a period of chaos, which will usher in a new phase of evolution of conscious and unprecedented changes in humanity. The sixth Mayan prophecy says that in the next few years, a comet will appear, whose trajectory will place humanity's existence in danger. The Mayan knew that for modern man to discover an asteroid so large and then divert it would be one of the major achievements of human history and a critical act that would unite us as a species. The seventh Mayan prophecy tells us of the moment when the solar system in its cycle leaves the night and enters the dawn of the galaxy. And it is said that in the 13 year warring period, the light that is emitted from the center of the galaxy synchronizes all living beings and permits them to voluntarily access an internal transformation that will produce new realities. We all can change and break our limitations, receiving a new sense. Those who voluntarily find their interior state of peace, taking their frequency of vital energy from fear to love, will be able to capture and express themselves through thought and therefore evolve. With the Renaissance as an example, new technology arrived in Europe in all sectors that enabled people to have more leisure time and to pursue knowledge and culture. We saw breakthroughs in education, the arts, technology, science, and in all aspects of life. It was also the time of the humanistic movement, 
that brought religion from being above the people to the people and allowed for the rebirth of the Western science and laid the framework for the philosophy that would be used in the age of enlightenment and beyond. This transit marks a new beginning that follows a year of transition for us. Hopefully, we'll realize ways to create a better life with harmony and understanding. For many, this is a welcome shift.